You all know my first guest, a wonderful actress, currently starring in the hit show Suddenly Susan, airs every Monday night at 8 o'clock right here on NBC, and she got a new hairdo. Ta-da! Please welcome my buddy, Brooke Shields. Your hair, although it's going something different. You know, I haven't had bangs since I was like 13. I know it's good. No, no, so it was really it was great it. that you noticed. No, 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 it looks very pretty. It looks very pretty. It. Now, something else I noticed because a lot of the guys that saw you saw the Holyfield fight, right, uh, Kel? Oh yeah. You sure. probably saw Brooke. You were sitting right. I had no idea you were a fight uh, fan. Are you a big fight fan? I didn't. I didn't know what I was at that particular time. Um, I didn't know that I was going. We sort of decided to go. At, I was told I was going to go the last minute. Yeah. And we were front row. Well, that's good, though. Well, I guess if you're a real fan, but it's, you have to, I had to get into the appreciation of it as a sport. No, was because this your first fight? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. So you're not a big boxing fan? Well, it, you know, I, I, the thought, I had to keep reminding myself that they asked for this. Because, <laughs> you know, the, the fact that they're actually, I mean, if you just do that just lightly, I mean, it, it, it hurts. And the fact yes. that it's full-fledged and the look and I was fascinated because we were so close by seeing the look in Moore's eyes before the first first time he was sort of cold cocked and right after. I like cold cock. You pick up the word. Yeah, there. well, you know, it was an unintentional head butt and there was a little blood. But uh, <laughs> um, and so so I was sitting there and his face changed. I mean, it was such an expression <laughs> that was just but it was well, like, it was like disbelief. And how could you? Oh my! It, I mean, it I mean, was. You, he was surprised that Holyfield. It was would almost hit like him. a surprise that he. <laughs> no, that it was so to watch that. I mean, we were so close. I, I actually saw the ear. I mean, I felt oh, like. Did you look at his ear? Yeah, I felt terrible, but I thought I'm gonna look at the ear. I've gotta find it, and it's little. It's Spock. It's Spock esque. It's a little Spock. It's here a now. little scoop. I mean, and it looks beautiful. There's, it's you know done well. Yeah. But I was. It's done well. Very well. Yeah. So Tyson is an artist. He doesn't yes, bite. Yes. No, no. <laughs> bit in a scoop. But to watch the guys next to, I mean, they're they're screaming things at them yeah. the whole time. They're intensely watching. It is. It is very. It's almost a choreographed, barbaric experience. Can you hear the punches? You can really hear them. That you can hear them. I mean, it, and we saw the fight just prior, which was uh, wasn't a heavyweight fight. Yeah. So it was very different, and it was a little sloppier, and a little sweatier, and a little yeah. bloodier. And I mean, the, the sweat comes out of the ring. So I, didn't, I had, Well, I had a vinyl pink little dress all picked oh. out because I figured it would wash off. Oh, I see. So you... But, um, no, I really did. I had a Halloween outfit, and I thought, I'm going to go as a total babe, bimbo, like, hair out. And, and then I, you know, I thought, oh, it's not, probably not a good idea. And then thank God, because there, so many people saw it. Yeah. So I went a little more. I mean, subdued. did you look away in the fight? Did you? Were I you, did. Were I you did. fascinated by it? I was fascinated to a certain extent. Were you turned on by it? you guys fight? No. But Why I you was, pause? well, you know what, because I felt the entire energy, and you watch yourself get hyped up with this, and you can yeah. understand, it's like the gladiators, or the, and well, yeah, they, that's what it is. I mean, it people is are screaming, you know, yeah. my mother hits better than that, and what are you doing, and I mean, so it's like, yeah, <laughs> you know, you kind of, it's, so, it's odd, because it, uh, while, while it is sort of um, disgusting to me, yeah. because it, and it hurts, and it, to see people really get hurt that much and really, really watch it, it, it made me feel like I was going to cry. But then there was this other side, ah. which sort of was like, yeah, you beat the mother, you, you, go get him. And, and that's then what when I the see. guy was down, I didn't know whether to root for him to stay down or to get up, you know? Get up, you baby. Meanwhile, the guy's like, Ooh, pretty rough talk yeah. from Brooke. Ooh. I didn't want you to have to bleep me. Um, but so it's a it's a dichotomy. I mean, it's have a guys paradox. ever fought over you? Have you ever been in a situation where hit him again, Billy? I mean, have you would ever been? Would you fight one? over me, Jay? Sure, of course, I Thank would fight you. him. Sure, sure, um, sure. I hit a guy once, but you it hit was... a guy once, Miss Barbaric. You thought you hit a guy? Yeah, but I was like in third grade or something. He oh. always used to bother me, and I used yeah. to come home crying. So I finally, mom said, you know what to do? Next time he does it, next time he bugs you and pulls your hair, you make a fist and you just punch him square in the nose. Wow. I did, but I missed, and I got his chin, and he, like, clicked, and he went over to the lunch table and sort of sat down and started crying, and oh. the next day he came into school and gave me his mother's diamond ring. His parents, like, owned Pepsi or something. That's great. <laughs> and my mom saw it and put, gave it to the teacher and said, we have no idea where this came from. Then the <laughs> next day after that, he came and he just started petting my hair, and I was like, I don't know what's worse. 
Having him, you know, be nice to me. Or... So that was, that was the last of my fighting days with men. Now, on the other side of this, this strip, so the other side of Vegas, which is the cool, that's like the barbaric the side. Well, I'm thinking you got Tony what? Bennett on your show. He's like, he's Mr. Vegas. Well, the thing, yes, but there is such a, there's a sense of, of class and history to him. He oh, yeah, a, he, isn't he great? And he's when he best. walks on the set, the, you know, yeah. we had been, we had to do, we did a, all the choreography to, um, he's on our show next, this coming mo Monday. Right. And um, we did a huge dance number, and the um, and it takes place because it's a dream sequence. Right, right. And in Elevator, and we have a dream sequence. Well, let's show people here. we okay. got a clip. Here it is. Here. Here's a clip of Tony Bennett on Suddenly Susan. <laughs> and you just did a movie, too, right? What is this? I, um... I did a movie uh, this summer. I was in London, and it's called *The Misadventures of Margaret*, of Margaret. with uh, Parker Posey, who was on your show recently, and Jeremy Northam. I play a wild child character. Are you wild? I see you're getting and wilder now. Well, no, I think it's just they're different facets yeah. of my personality oh. that I'm trying to tap into. But yeah. this girl is. Um, she teaches uh, at NYU. She yeah. teaches a course called *Whip Crack Away: Deconstructing Doris Day*. And she's she's always, she's all about entrances and exits. Right, right. And she's sort of this. You know, she doesn't remember the quote actually, but she'll say, "Well, who is it who said um, one is not born a woman, one becomes one?" Oh, never mind. And then she'll and it ha you know Simone de Beauvoir, but it doesn't matter that she forgets the the people. And she's just a wild child. And when does that come out? Uh, little hope. So we're year? hoping it goes to the um, Sundance Film Festival and the Berlin Film Festival. And you had fun in London. Do you I like London? I love London. Yeah. I really do. Good food? We, you know it. I had a good time. I mean, I went out every Oil single cabbage. night. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But you don't like you don't like the food there. No, right? I'm not you're, a big no. I, 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 I had something called bubble goes. and squeak once, and it almost killed me. It's like, <laughs> it's, it's, but it's, your wife likes to go there. And oh, my wife loves it. Loves She's a it. huge, huge fan. But it's. I mean, I think no, that it's there's fun. there's it's tea fun. time is a whole different oh, experience. Oh, and the rain. And, oh. But there's fun nightlife too. Oh, I mean, the it's life. Yeah, like, you know, my wife will kill me. I can't do any of that. No, but there's like these great sort of bars that you go to and just discuss, you know, literature and cinema. I do that here with Kev every night. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, listen, I know you've got to go. Listen, Sorry. thanks for coming by and seeing us, and you look great. Thank you. Brooke Shields, be right back with Casper Mandine right after this. Woo